In this section, I am going to talk to you about annuities. Very, very important. We're going to see how we can implement the concepts of present value and later on even future value to annuities. But what is an annuity? Uh, let me try and explain using an example. Let's suppose that you have a rich and benevolent uncle and he promises to give you $500 every year for seven years. Uh, so again, $500 every year for seven years. And he also tells you that, look, I'm going to give you the first $500 one year from today. Now, again, if you wanted to represent this uh, on a timeline, then this is the picture that would uh, emerge, roughly. Uh, you would basically have this as today, this representing one year from now, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And uh, what your uncle is effectively saying is that, look, I'm going to give you a $500 one year from now, another 500 two years, so on and so forth. Right, so this happens here, 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 six, and then the last one happens over here. This is an example of an annuity. There are three things that make a cash flow stream an annuity. Right, there are three things. First, you must have a constant cash flow stream, which in this case is 500, right? It's the same 500. Second, uh, these cash flow streams must be occurring at regular intervals. In this case, the intervals are every year. So you're getting one 500 you know, in this year, then another year from now, then another year from now. So these are regular intervals, all right? And the last thing, perhaps the most important thing that makes an annuity is that an annuity only lasts for a certain number of time periods, or in this case, a certain number of years. So this is an example of what we can call a seven-year annuity. It's a seven-year annuity because you are going to be receiving seven 500s over the next seven years. All right, so it's a seven-year annuity. Annuity, by the way, comes from the term, uh, I mean, if you look at the and part over here, this is from the same same term that you see in annual or every year. So in, again, annual is again meant to denote the fact that you're getting uh, something at regular intervals or once every year. Uh, later on, you'll see an annuity doesn't have to be yearly. These could be months, this could be quarters, this could be weeks. The main thing here is that uh, the cash flows need to be occurring at regular intervals. All right. So now, now that you understand what an annuity is, if somebody comes up to you and says, look, the banks are paying an annual interest rate of 4%, how much is this cash flow stream worth to you today? All right, so what is the present value of all of this to you today? So you're going to be getting all of this. Now, in the past, we have seen that the generic approach towards these kind of problems is that you say, look, I'm getting these 500s. Let me just determine their present value. So this will get discounted back one year, which is 500 divided by 1.04, where 4 is the discount rate. And then the next 500, this would get discounted back two years. So I would have 500 divided by 1.04 squared. And then, as you can see, that this will only go out till seven years. So you have 500 uh, divided by 1.04 raised to the power 7. Now, you can write this more simply as 500, which is the common factor over here. I guess the same 500, in which case you have the same 500 uh, getting uh, multiplied by 1 over 1.04 plus 1 over 1.04 squared plus, and as you can see, this will go on to like 1 over 1.04 raised to the power seven. Now it turns out that you can use a little bit of fancy math, which I'm not going to bore you with, but it turns out that all of this sum, this, uh, this, uh, these sort of expressions inside the brackets, these solve out to one minus one 
over 1.04 raised to the power 7 divided by 0 0.04 all right so all of this sum all of this sum basically solves out to this expression right here you can uh, you can confirm this uh, at your own time as well uh, so now you still have this 500 over here so you have this 500 right here so 500 is getting multiplied by this entire expression so first you would do 1 divided by 1.04 raised to the power 7 whatever that number comes out to you will subtract that number from 1 and then whatever that solves out to you will take that number and divide that by 0 0.04 and then multiply by 500. When you will do this math, all of this expression will solve out to approximately $3,001, and I think about two cents, right? So basically, your uncle saying to you that I'm going to give you 500 every year for the next seven years, starting one year from today, it is as from your perspective it is as if your uncle is giving you three thousand and one dollars today if you had this sum um, you would be as well off as getting a series of five hundreds over the next seven years and so here is the general rule if uh, you are given a constant cash flow say C which in our example was five hundred and if you know how many years or how many time periods you are receiving uh, your constant cash flow of C4, uh, which in our example was like this T, which is 7. And if you know what the opportunity cost is or what the interest rate is, which in our example was 4%, then these are all the things that you need to know. Uh, in order to determine the present value of that specific annuity and you can implement this formula.